The PNG men's national team knew they had to win this game and win big to keep their World Cup qualifying hopes alive. The return of Nigel Dabinyaba would only add speed, which gels in well with the formidable force of Raymond Gunemba and David Brown. Switches to the right inside. Dabinyaba. PNG capped Solomon Islands on back foot with superb control in the midfield area before a perfectly executed play from captain Michael Foster, sending Dabinyaba down the right. This goal by Gunemba in the 17th minute would seem to set the tone for PNG. However, the celebration was short-lived after defender Felix Komalong was sent off for handball. From the back, and it's a straight red card. For Komalong's dismissal left fans furious and coach Fleming Seretslev in disbelief. The players all appeal in Fleming Seretslev abs. Solomon Islands captain Henry Farodo equalized from the resulting penalty. And as the clock ticks to the end of the first interval, Jerry Donga's stunning effort proved to be the winner. His precision placement putting the ball out of goalkeeper Ronald Warrison to reach. Might double the lead for the Solomon Islands. Although a man down, Papua New Guinea proved their resilient, determined young bunch. They kept the pressure on their opponent to dominate periods of the second half, making inroads into the opposing final third and coming very close to securing an equalizer. Brown up to Raymond Gunemba. However, the Bonitas of Solomon Islands would hang on eventually to win the match by two goals to one. Disappointed Papua New Guinea coach Fleming Serdslev said the red card was very much the turning point in the encounter. It's the second time that we have a uh, match spoiled uh, to a very unfair decision by the referees. It's not a problem moving uh, forward, but of course we would like to have had the regional final against New Zealand here. Solomon Islands coach Felipe Vega, Arengo Alonso, on the other hand, was experiencing much different emotions. But after you score the second goal and you are winning by one and you are 11 against 10, you don't need to take many risks. You just need to keep yourself together as a team, a defensive further, and try to play counter-attacks, which in the second half with the win against was a little difficult. But the team did a wonderful job. These guys are the best. This win, combined with the 3-2 victory in Honiara last Friday, ensures Solomon Islands top Group B, which sends them off to meet OFC Nations Cup holders, New Zealand in the home and away series final. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.